Hi everyone, it's Heidi with Downtown NorCal and today I'm at Davis Swim and Fitness to learn how it's going in the fitness industry. They're just 10% open right now, but that's a lot better than it was and this location has a lot of outdoor opportunities. I'm about to introduce you to the owner, Tammy Tembrook. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning. So what's happening here at Davis Swim and Fitness? Well, we are finally open 10% inside and we've had our outdoor gym going on for, gosh, I think for the last three months. Um, it's been very, very, very good. Uh, members are very excited about coming in and being able to work out outside. We put ellipticals out there, treadmills, um, all the dumbbells and weights. We even have a squat rack. And uh, our CrossFit classes have been outside this whole time because we have an outdoor arena. Um, the classes that we do inside, um, like the group exercise classes, we moved them to a really pretty grassy area at the hotel next door. Um, our swimming pool has never been busier. Uh, we have a, a lane for each person, unless they're a family unit, then they can you know, double up on a lane. Uh, they get an hour uh, to work out or swim, and they do it by appointment, so everything here is by appointment only. And we keep the social distancing. Um, in all the areas, we have signs set up everywhere, everybody's wearing masks coming and going, and we're doing everything that we can to keep Davis healthy and safe. You've been through quite a roller coaster since March, so what has it been like to be closed and opened and then partially opened and all of the challenges? Well, <laughs> let me just say, the day that they said, hey, you, you have to close your business, everybody shelter in place, I grabbed my cell phone and set it up on a book and had classes you know, already being videotaped and then each instructor would come in by themselves and do a video class so that people at home could still work out. We started using our equipment um, in the classes and I felt bad because a lot of members didn't have steps or bands at home so I set up a little you know, drive-by, pick up a band, uh, uh, set up outside, members were coming by and you know getting bands that were cleaned off and washed off with um, alcohol and being able to use them in the classes. So for 88 days I just decided I'd make sure that members could work out at home, that we could improve the club so my maintenance guy came in and was painting the whole entire club. We used that time to redo the flooring, uh, redo the bathroom so that when members came back that everything looked really pretty. and. I think that's what kept me sane and all the help from the members in the area and our community you know paying on their memberships helping me through this kept everything going government um, funding came through for me uh, in fact uh, the treasurer paid six months of my SBA loan which is almost eighty thousand dollars Wow and you know memberships did decrease you know with people having lost their jobs but the support was amazing and you know, I stayed open. I stayed through it, um, I worked through it. My club has never been prettier. <laughs> and now we're back inside 10% and I'm just looking forward to getting everyone back in here and working out. It is really pretty and we're gonna take a look around as we go okay. through the video, but I just wanna show folks that when you come into your office, I'm filming on the outside of this plexiglass, but even in your own office, you are staying protected. Yes. Tammy, where are we now? We are in the fitness room inside, so you can see all the cardio equipment on the left, the treadmills, the ellipticals, they're all spaced out six feet apart from each other. We have um, bottles of uh, disinfectant and cleaner, so that way when you finish working out, you can wipe things down. We have And it, what are people required to do in this space in terms of safety? Well, we have a yellow uh, line that, that designates the walk area. So when you walk through, you have to have your mask on, and then when you get to your particular uh, workout area, then you can take your mask off and work out. Again, social distancing from each other. Because it's only 10% that's allowed in this facility and inside this area, we're only allowing 10 people to come in, and you can see it's a large facility. Um, so that way you have a lot of spacing between members working out. I think some people are still nervous about coming indoors, so do you mind if we go look at your outdoor facility? Oh yeah, I would love to. Okay. We're now outside, and this is where you operated exclusively for a little while. Yes. But you're still allowing people to come out, so let's talk about this space. Yeah, I mean, it's great because we still have our ellipticals, um, we have a leg press machine, we even have uh, an outdoor uh, squat rack, and the weights are out here as well as the dumbbells in the corner, and we even have classes out here sometimes. 
especially the Zumba classes, a lot of ladies um, and gentlemen like to do classes outside, so we'll bring them outside as well. And some people just feel better being outside at this time, that works or in, so we have an option of both. We, we invested in this huge tent, and once it starts to rain, because that'll happen very shortly, mm -hmm. we're gonna bring all the stuff on the outside underneath the tent, and we have sides that will go down on the tent, so that way we can keep everything from getting um, damaged. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, we're uh, spaced properly, and you're without a mask, so right. what are the requirements out here with masks? Right, so once you get to your area, you can take your mask off, or keep your mask on the whole time, and everything's spaced out very nicely out here as well. Um, again, we abide by all the regulations of the county for um, social distancing. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go take a look at your pool. Oh yeah, you'll love this. Swim goggles are allowed, but snorkels are not. This is an extra measure of protection by Davis Swim and Fitness. So how much demand have you had here? Well, it was all of a sudden, you know, when everything started to slowly open up, it was the swimming pool that got opened first. And I'm, I'm really actually happy that they didn't allow us to open the gym and the swimming at the same time, because it was a big learning curve for us to put people online, having to get on Omnify, set up your appointments, and then learning how to set it up for our members, and then getting that information out to the members by email and text. Um, so that was a, a huge change, but what happened was everyone wanted to swim, and we had more appointments than we had um, spots. <laughs> so people were on waiting list and canceling the appointments because they were getting frustrated. So um, we ended up just making more slots so now we have 30 minute slots and one hour because there's some members that want to come in and just jump in the water for 10 or 15 minutes and then that's all that they need. But the lap swimmers, they really need that one hour you know, time or 55 minutes in the pool. We ended up um, having over a thousand more signups a week. And so that eliminated members being frustrated and not being able to get um, appointments. And now it seems like everything's flowing very well and we have a lot more members um, swimming than we did before, so that's positive. What do you think the psychological value of swimming was to people? You know, why was that the first activity people wanted to do? I think because they felt safe because they were outside, they didn't have to wear a mask, they were in the water, they're still getting exercise, and they felt that they didn't have to worry so much about um, catching the virus in the water because of the chlorine and just all the studies that have been, you know, done on swimming and the benefits of swimming for health and fitness. Um, and your own mental, you know, mental health. Pathways from one area to the next where masks are required are very clearly marked. So right now we're in the arena for CrossFit and this is a spot that never had to close down um, once we were actually open from shelter in place because our classes are outside and they've been outside. We have a huge um, overhead uh, carport tent kind of uh, construction and then on the sides, plexiglass. And then on the floor, we have um, horse mats. And as you can see, we've taped off boxes for each of the um, athletes to do their workouts in so that they stay socially distanced away from each other. And all the equipment is wiped down and cleaned after every class. And we have, um, you can see the sheds. That's where all of our equipment stays, our bars and dumbbells, plates. Um, kettlebells and uh, yeah so we can get eight people out here and they make an appointment and come take the classes um, we have families that do CrossFit as well that unit or community that we have with CrossFit never left us every one of them stayed and paid their fees every month um, and then I was allowing them to use some of the equipment at home and we also had online classes for them to do from home with their equipment I asked Tammy about clients who are still uncomfortable coming in. Once we were shut down, I was teaching a, a, a senior class two days a week. Um, it was called Silver and Fit. And once we were shut down, one of the instructors uh, and I started teaching the class together. She would do the modifications. We started teaching six days a week at eight o'clock. We call it one day, it was boot camp. One day, you know, ab day. Um, another day, cardio, crazy cardio. And when we started those classes, we started seeing more and more people signing up for them on Facebook. And we would get, you know, in a normal class, maybe five to 35 people in a class. Now we're seeing people take the class um, throughout the day, 100, 200, you know, that same class that normally would just get, you know, 
less than 30 people in it at one time. So there are a lot of people staying at home, doing classes from home and working out, and we're here to provide that for them. We also talked about the potential that restrictions could tighten again. I think I'm prepared for anything that happens because we keep changing all the time. So if the governor came in and said, okay, everybody back outside again, we have our outside area. It will be challenging with the rain and then the elements of cold weather coming soon. Um, our CrossFit area is already set up to do that. Um, classes will just have to work around being outside and being under the tent and, the, and the, um, also in the arena. We'll make it work. We'll do whatever we have to do to keep our community safe. Yeah, I mean, we just yeah. had a lot of happy ladies leaving this room. Where yes. are we? They just left from doing Zumba. And we have a huge group of Zumba ladies that come in here every day. There's a class at 11, there's a class at um, 4.30 and, oh, 7.30 too. So what are the safety precautions again in this room as people are dancing? So in this room we have blue tape um, segregating different areas for, you know, six feet apart. Um, one thing that we decided on with 10% in this room, we just stuck with the number of 10 people. Um, 12 when there's an instructor and her assistant, um, but most of the time it's just, you know, 10 people spread out. We have two really big double doors that we can open up, and we have those open during classes, except when we have uh, smoke outside. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know, that was another uh, interesting time. But since we're in, we've been inside, you know, it's been nice. Members really like to be able to come in and do the classes or just do them online from home. I'm glad you brought up the smoke because the fire season is not over. So yeah. how do you adapt? Yeah, I mean, same thing as being inside and outside. When there's smoke, um, we close down the pool and CrossFit and the outside gym once the uh, air quality gets to 150 or above. And we've just been using that, um, that number based on the other aquatics programs in Davis. Um, so members know that if they're looking at their air quality um, digits online and it gets to 150, they know that we are definitely going to be closed. We sent out um, cancellation notices for the classes. But the good thing is that we have the inside gym, people are able to come in and use the gym inside. On Facebook, there's a, um, a group page just called Live and Recorded um, Group Exercise Classes. And so members that um, are paying members here will access um, the join button. And then once they push join, then I'll get um, notice and then I'll make sure they're members and then we give them access to the classes. I was so impressed by this facility and the leadership Tammy has demonstrated to our community.